So Thanksgiving Day was yesterday, and so was the lovely Black Thursday, because retail places like to open on Thanksgiving Day so we get to spend less time with family members we don't want to see. That could just be me. Ooh, not that I don't like any of my family members, because I totally do. Thanksgiving Day, the one time of year where we're the same day that we say what we're thankful for, we go out and trample people over on for good deals. Way to go, America. Always doing something to be thankful for. And not to be thankful for. Thankful that I had to work. Black Friday can get a little crazy, so I thought, you know, why not make a guide? A little something to help you during Black Friday, or not to help you because, let's face it, anywhere you go Black Friday, YOLO. So here are some tips. Number one, hot item. If you see an item across the way and you see someone else staring at the same exact item, run the other direction. Confrontation during Black Friday is not the way you want to go. And it's not worth to save a measly $5 on this new Susie Talks a lot. Only confrontation that is acceptable is if you see a Ryan Gosling body pillow. In that case, run like you're being chased by Honey Boo Boo's mom. Uh... Well, you wouldn't actually have to run because it wouldn't take m Oh. Number two, don't argue. Don't argue with the cashier about a price being wrong. Chances are, especially during Black Friday, some idiot picked it up, decided they didn't want it, and was too lazy to put it back. And that idiot might have been me if you were at PetSmart yesterday around four. Number three, parking. Trying to find a parking spot during the god worst awful time of the year at a shopping mall can be as nearly as impossible as me trying to walk straight while sober, which is extremely impossible because I have the worst hand eye coordination ever. Always bring five pairs of hand warmers because chances are there's going to be no parking spots near the front. And your lucky butt's gonna have to walk a mile to the doors of hell. Number four, anxiety. If you have anxiety or don't do well with large crowds, then don't go shopping the busiest time of the year. Are you crazy? You're setting yourself up for failure and it's not fun for either people that you're with. If you're already out shopping and watching this, then may the odds be ever in your socially awkward favor. Number five, there's no place like home. Stay home and spend time with family who you're fortunate to only see twice a year during the holidays because there's always that one aunt who questions why you're still single. Well, maybe if I lowered my standards from Zac Efron to Ryan Gosling, maybe I might have someone. And who wasn't gay. I normally fall for the ones who are, because those are usually the ones who like cats. <laughs> and last but not least, my favorite number six, avoidance. If you're an introvert like me, you'll by all means do anything possible to avoid human interaction. So what better way than to stay in your room and make a vlog? Or watch Law & Order SVU episode reruns on USA because we all know they're not always having a marathon 24-7. Now, if you excuse us, we have a date with Law & Order SVU. Isn't that right, Doheny? Give mom a kiss. He loves me. Look at, look how happy he is. Look at, that's love. He hates me, he scratched me two seconds ago.